Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us for the final night of this month's tribute to the films of director John Ford. Up next, a personal favorite of Ford's. Though it's not one of his best known pictures, this is a historically relevant movie, the first mainstream Hollywood Western to feature a black man as its central character. It's from 1960, Sergeant Rutledge. Woody Strode is first Sergeant Braxton Rutledge of the 9th Cavalry, an all black unit referred to by Native Americans as the Buffalo Soldiers. Rutledge has been charged with a serious crime. The story focuses on his trial, revealing details of the crime in flashback. For Hollywood in 1960, Sergeant Rutledge was a socially progressive picture. Many in and around the industry saw it as John Ford's attempt to make amends for certainly justified criticism of his earlier reliance on broad ethnic and racial stereotypes in his portrayals of minorities, notably Native Americans, in so many of his westerns. Ford fought to cast Strode in the face of strong headwinds. Warner Brothers studio chief Jack Warner pushed for either Sidney Poitier or Harry Belafonte, essentially the only go-to black movie stars of the era. Ford didn't see either of them as tough enough for Sergeant Rutledge, unlike Woody Strode. Strode had been a star athlete. He and Jackie Robinson were teammates in the backfield of the football team at UCLA. And just as Robinson broke baseball's color barrier, Strode was one of the first black players to play in the NFL. After football, Strode headed for Hollywood, even though good roles for black actors were hard to come by in the 1950s. Even though Strode had appeared in better than 20 films before Sergeant Rutledge, they were primarily uncredited and stereotypical parts. But with this role and another later the same year in director Stanley Kubrick's Spartacus, Strode's fortunes in Hollywood changed, and he always credited John Ford for making that happen. We'll have more on their relationship after we see the movie. From 1960, also with Jeffrey Hunter, Constance Towers, and Billy Burke, Sergeant Rutledge. Woody Strode credited director John Ford with advancing his career by casting him as Sergeant Rutledge. He would played almost entirely nondescript roles until then, largely confined to stereotypical parts for black actors. I nearly had a nervous breakdown working on the picture, said Strode, but it helped me become an actor. The movie stayed with Strode. I've never gotten over Sergeant Rutledge, he said. That was a classic. It had dignity. John Ford put classic words in my mouth. Ford was notoriously short-tempered as a director, but he was also a loyal friend. If Ford liked you, no matter how much he might shout at you on set, you were in the club, and Strode was in the club. They made three more movies together over the next six years. After Ford's health started to fail and he retired, Strode remained one of the few friends Ford still enjoyed seeing right up until Ford's death in 1973. During Ford's final months, Strode served as his caretaker. In his autobiography, Strode wrote proudly, I became one of the few who could call John Ford Papa. Up next, another John Ford-Woody Strode collaboration along with Jimmy Stewart and Richard Widmark. 